Hey guys, Jim Watson, aka Joe Welder. Welcome to Arxno.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect the auto grind to the uh, control box and to the wall circuit. We're going to point out the difference in the electrode holders. We're also going to explain the programmable grind time functionality. Okay guys, in our preview video, we showed the front of the machine and the barrel connector that connects the auto grind module to the control box. Now we're at the back of the machine. There's two connections. When you order the auto grind from Arxone, you get either the 110 US version or the 230 volt international model, you get the short uh, whip cable with the appropriate plug on it. Just plug that into the power cord coming out of the machine and then that unit gets plugged into the control box. The secondary line coming out of the control box goes to the wall outlet. That's how you hook up the auto grind and now the machine is hooked up in series for simple operation. Okay, now we're going to discuss the electrode holders. So if you have a standard Ultima TIG or the Ultima TIG cut model, it comes with an electrode holder just like this. So a standard barrel with a knurled handle assembly. The collet slips into the front, threads and locks down. And that's the standard electrode holder that comes with the machine. Now when you upgrade to the auto grind unit, you get a different electrode holder. And uh, it looks the same. It's got a machine barrel assembly and a knurled handle, but it has these reliefs and a notch in it to lock it in place during grinding. Now, just a tip, if you want to uh, double your production, you can order another electrode holder and call it assembly. So with the auto grind, you get one electrode holder and it's really quick and easy to double your production. An additional electrode holder, and make sure you get the proper collet for the size, uh, size tungsten you're going to be grinding. So this happens to be a 332nd or 2.4 millimeter. And that way, the operator is grinding one electrode, load the other, and switch them out quickly and easily. And what we're going to do now is reprogram the machine. So ArcZone recommends the machine to be set up for a 10 second grind time for 1 16th, a 20 second grind time for 332nd and a 45 second grind time for 8th inch diameter. How do you determine how many seconds the machine is programmed for? On the auto grind, uh, there's a pressure sensitive switch and a uh, green flashing LED light. This designates the uh, grind time. So to change the grind time, you want to go into programming mode. To do that, you simply depress and hold the button for 3 seconds. You can see the machine starts, the auto grind engages and then retracts, and now you're in programming mode. You can see that the LED light is flashing, and right there is a two second delay. So we're gonna wait for that to come around again, and then we're gonna count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and a two second delay. So that means the unit is set for 20 second grind time. So if you want to add another five seconds, you simply depress the button five times. If you want to subtract or take time away, you have to go back to zero. So to do that, you depress the switch for another three seconds. So we've reset the uh, auto grind time to zero, and now we're going to program it for a 20 second grind time. So we push the switch 20 times. And now it's important that you have a uh, switched uh, power connector close to the machine so you can uh, turn it off and reboot the timer. So it's similar to, to restarting your, your computer. Wait till the light goes completely out and then turn it back on. Okay, now that we've reprogrammed the machine, I just wanted to let you know that the actual grind time, if you use a stopwatch, to measure the grind time, it's not going to be exactly 20 seconds. And the reason is because the machine starts, the electrode enters the grind chamber, it then grinds for the preset grind time, then the machine retracts and powers down. So there's about five or so seconds in there uh, that are added to the grind time. Okay, so now we're going to use the auto grind to grind a uh, 332nd or 2.4 millimeter tungsten electrode. I have the electrode holder and the 2.4 millimeter collet. Insert the tungsten into the 
electrode holder and tighten that. Now you want to pull it up tight and then give it an extra quarter turn or so to make sure it's good and snug. And this is the uh, collet uh, tightening assembly for the electrode holder. And on the back side of this unit, there's an adjusting, a spring-loaded adjusting nut. And what that does is that's what sets the setback or the depth of the tungsten, okay? And that allows you, when you insert that into the machine and set up the machine, you can dial in exactly what kind of tip you want. So, uh, again, there's a degree scale here for the angle or the taper. And the setback gauge, which we're looking at here, allows you to set the depth of the grind. So you can get a perfectly pointed electrode if you want, or you can dial it back and get a tip flat or a land um, for that best suits your application. Okay, so once that's set, I'm gonna depress the spindle lock, insert the electrode holder into the machine, rotate it till it locks, and start the auto. -bar. The so grind is completed. I'm going to depress the spindle lock, remove the wand, and there you have a perfect precision ground tungsten electrode. ArcSone delivers a complete line of replacement parts and we service what we sell. Give us a call if you have a question or would like to talk to a live human who can help you well like a pro. If you prefer, you can ask your local supplier to order the parts from us and we'll drop ship them directly to you. Be sure to subscribe to ArcSone's YouTube channel to stay up to date on tricks of the trade, industry news, and the latest tools and trends. Thanks for watching and good welding.